Dorothy, and I am so excited to see you today. You know, to get things started, I'm thinking that we need to shout out super loud, hey, friends, because we're all friends here. So on the count of three, I want to hear your loudest, hey, friends. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, friends. Whoa. <laughs> Really loud. You did awesome. You know, I just love being here. Yeah, we get to listen to an amazing Bible story and dance to some rockin' music. <laughs> but before we do any of that, we have fun together. That's right. It's time to play a game. So I have this ginormous, mega huge bucket. And I have a feeling that there are some pretty cool things in here. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna close our eyes and reach into the bucket and whatever we pull out, whatever it is, we have to act it out. <gasps> do you think you can play that with me? Oh, yay, good. I'm glad you said that. Okay, here we go. Let me see your hand and put it over your eyes. <laughs> and let me see your other hand, except I guess my eyes are closed so I can't really see it. <laughs> And let's reach into the bucket. And what do we find? Oh, I think I got something. Let's see. Oh, open your eyes. Did you see that? It's an elephant. <laughs> okay, well, I think we know what we need to do. We have to act out the elephant. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> do I make a good elephant? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try again. <laughs> Let me hear your elephant. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, let's try another one. Here we go. Take your hand and close your eyes. And take your other hand and reach into the mega bucket. And, oh, I have something. What do we have? Do you see this? It's a car. This is a really cool looking car. Okay, I think we should act this car out. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, all right, beep, beep, honk, honk. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good drivers. Wave to your friends. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's do another one. Here we go. Close your eyes and reach into the bucket. What are we going to get? What are we? Oh, 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 I got something. Oh, it's kind of slimy. <gasps> I got a frog. <laughs> Okay, well, we have to act out being a frog. Here we go. Get your ribbits ready. You got to be a frog with me. Here we go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> and that was awesome. Okay, I think we have time for one more. So take your hand and close your eyes and, and don't peek. And put your other hand into the bucket. What are we going to get? Oh, I want something so good. Oh, 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 I think I got something. Do you see this? It's a bee! Oh my goodness, that is so cool! Okay, we have to act out being a bee. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> keep, keep being a bee with me. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was pretty silly. <laughs> okay, well, you friends did amazing at this game. I had so much fun. And now it is time for an incredible Bible story just for you. So take a seat. Are you sitting? Oh, good, good. All right, and let me see your hands. And open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey, boys and girls, my name is Al, and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible. Yeah, the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. That's right, God is big and he's strong and he's mighty and God loves us and we can always count on him to be with us and always to help us. I read in my Bible today about someone who knew he could always count on God. That's right, the person I read about was named Elijah. 
Can you say Elijah with me? Elijah. Good job, friends. All right, so Elijah had to do something really hard, but he knew he was gonna be brave and he was gonna be strong. And Elijah was not afraid because he knew he could always count on God. You see, there was a very mean king named Ahab. Kind of sounds like a pirate, doesn't it? Can you say it with me? Ahab. Ooh. Ahab didn't believe in the one true God. <gasps> oh no, how could Ahab not believe in our one true God? But he didn't. Instead, Ahab believed in a pretend God. A God that was all made up. He wasn't real at all. And the mean king made all the people in the town believe in that pretend God too. But Elijah, he knew he had to do something. He wanted to show everyone that there was only one true God. Can I see your finger? Let me see you point your finger for the number one. Yes, that's right. One true God. Elijah knew he could be brave and he could be strong and he could be courageous because he could count on God. So Elijah had King Ahab and all his people meet him on top of a mountaintop. Hey, can you pretend to walk with me and Elijah up to the top of the mountain? Here we go, stand up. Now walk, 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 walking up to the top of the mountain. Here we go, it's a tall, tall mountain. We keep going, going, going. How are you doing? We're still walking, I hope you're still walking because I'm getting out of breath and we're there. Whoo, what a tall mountain. Great job, you did it, so did I. Elijah was gonna prove that there was only one true God. He told King Ahab and all his people to set up some sticks and top of some rocks, kind of like this, look at that. And Elijah told them to pray and ask their pretend God to send a fire down and burn the sticks. So Ahab and his people started to sing and pray to their pretend God. From morning to lunchtime, they sang and they prayed, they sang and they prayed, bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire. And guess what, friends? Nothing, nothing happened at all. So they said, well, maybe our pretend God didn't hear us. We need to shout louder. We need to sing louder. So they sang louder, louder, louder. Bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire. Oh, friends, nothing. No smoke, no fire. You know why? Because their pretend God wasn't real. Then Elijah said, hey, come with me, guys. Follow me. So he set up his sticks on top of some rocks. And Elijah decided to pray to the one true God, our God, who we can always count on. Hey, can we pray just like Elijah did right now? Just repeat after me. You ready? Here we go. Dear God, you are the one true God. I love you. Please show everyone that you are the one true God. And in that moment, guess what happened? Whoa, whoa, look, fire came down and burned the sticks. That's right, God answered Elijah's prayer. You see, Elijah was brave and he was strong and he was not afraid because he knew he could always count on God to help him show that our God, our God is the one true God. And just like Elijah, you can be brave and you can be strong because we can always count on God too. Friends, let me tell you, if there's ever a thunderstorm outside and it feels a little scary, guess what? You can be brave and you can be strong because God is always with you and you can count on him just like Elijah counted on God. Or sometimes you may be scared because you're going somewhere brand new, but know what? You can be brave, you can be strong, because God is always with you. I love hearing about Elijah and about what happened on this mountaintop because it showed that we can always count on God. You can always count on God. I can always count on God. Let's pray and thank God that we can always count on Him. All right, give me a big clap, guys. Good job, let's pray. Dear God, Thank you that we can always count on you to help us to be strong and courageous. We love you, God. Amen. Wow, that was amazing. I'm gonna remember all week long that I can always count on God. I'm gonna see you later, friends. Bye, guys. Wow, that was an incredible bye.
Bible story. And now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It is time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. It's one of my favorite songs in the whole wide world. I can't wait. So get up on your feet and let's dance. Bye friends. When I feel sad and I need a friend, God turns it all around and helps me smile again. When I get so mad or do something wrong, He loves me still, so I sing this. Sing.